13 armed vehicles, over 30 men with military rifles uh, and and dogs to protect one backhoe and a dump truck. Let me let me add this point. Okay. There's there's backhoe famous cases down this hill all the second. time. There's yes, famous ahead, cases out in California, you know, where the guy had the 100 acres right between the two mountains. He was a doctor, no criminal record. And they just came to his house and killed him in a marijuana raid. There was no marijuana. And then the police actually sold and moved into the property. And actually the cops that killed him got the money. And that's all this is, is asset forfeiture seizure. We have a predatory government and they state they want the, quote, rewilding half the country completely off limits to humans. They're tearing up the roads everywhere. This is why America's shutting down. And they know people are fleeing out west away from the tyranny of the cities. And this is the war, folks. This is why in Florida they're arresting women that for 10 years, you know, that lady, uh, you know, had her own uh, electric power out in the country. And they saw her on the news. And so they sent the code enforcers to try to take her house. I mean, this is happening everywhere. Your report, David, where they're arresting people uh, for collecting rainwater in Oregon. This is the takeover. Now, I want to talk about his father said he was concerned about confrontations yesterday. Those indeed happened. We've seen him tasered. We've seen women assaulted by these little coward goons in their, in their costumes, in their little police dogs. And uh, I mean, just, just total cowards. Uh, and you, uh, we've seen their activities. What are what are the actions planned today? What do they think the next flashpoints could be? What's the game plan going forward? I mean, he'd like to know uh, what's planned for today. What are the flashpoints going forward? Uh, how do you do? You see anything? Uh, how do you see it developing today? Well, actually, we've accomplished quite a bit today already. At dawn, we had uh, around twenty cowboys uh, go out on on the the public land. Uh, and we gathered about 30 head. Um, we did have a small confrontation with them, but they didn't have enough forces to really do a whole lot. Uh, they couldn't mobilize fast enough. And we were able to gather those cattle and get them to the ranch. And they're branding the, the calves and stuff right now. So we've already done some. Um, we have a lot of people here that it will be here protesting. Uh, we also have our, we're starting to get so the state to start realizing their responsibility. So we have five uh, state representatives that will be here addressing the people at five o'clock. And so that's what's going on today. Let me ask you about the auction because uh, there was news that they were going to try to auction off the cattle. I saw something as we we're flying out here. I read that uh, they had, they were going to originally auction them off in Utah. Utah said no. What's the status of the auction of the cap uh, cattle that they rustled so far? Well, the they had paid the auction three hundred thousand to take the cattle because obviously they must have known that there would be some commitment that the cattle. Uh, they were not able to do that. Uh, one is Utah's not allowing them to be transferred to to the to the uh, auction yard, and then they were opposed so heavily that uh, if they continued it, the auction yard would have gone out of business. Um, so we imagine, and we don't know this for sure, but we imagine that they're looking for other ways to sell these cattle. Um, we don't know that the cattle have left the compound over here or not, uh, but we have we actually have airplanes in the air. Finally, we've been able to get airplanes in the air to confirm that, and I haven't got that report. Hmm. Um, uh, our goal is to keep those cattle from leaving this area uh, by the people's voice and then take them back. Let me ask you one last question if we've got time, Alex. Uh, I was talking to your mother earlier, and she said, at the point, there used to be 53 ranches right around here. You're the last ranch in the area. And at the point where the 52 other ranches went out, she said that they had reduced the herd allowable to something like 150 head. And they were going to keep them off during the spring, which is a prime time, the calving time, which is right now. But also, I thought it was very curious that these other 52 ranches were bought off by the state of Nevada, not by the federal government. Is that correct? Uh, by the county. And yet you'll have to, yeah. there's a lot to that. but. Um, one is that proves that there was rights because the way it was the 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 federal government manipulated the 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 state and the county to buy those but then they recognized that there was rights and that they need to be purchased my dad did not sell mm -hmm. which is an argument of they, that one time they did recognize those rights mm -hmm. now just to make it clear 53 ranchers did not sell many of them were pushed out regulated to the point that they could not survive yeah. others died uh, and I mean by not, not violent death, but these are, you know, older men and they died young because they were the, the pressure and the, and the 
anyway, I, I just talk about a couple of ranchers that actually died of heart attacks. I mean, this is a, a serious deal. It's extremely stressful on a rancher. The livelihood is very rough. And to get them to, uh, to just survive in this without the, the federal uh, regulations is tough. And then try to regulate, uh, be regulated out of business is, makes it even rougher. Tell them we're and going to break. Not, I want to come back to him. Ourselves. That's the reason they're regulated. We're, go we're going to break. We'll be right back. I want to come back and, and, and I'm going to get your take on this. Uh, have him finish up when we come back. I know he's got to go, but I want to get some final comments uh, from him and also get what David Knight has to say. Uh, but if he's got another interview, let him go to that. Folks, this is the extinction of a way of life. This is the hunting down, the harassment. You really learn how predatory the government is when they've gotten 3% more of Nevada in just the last six, seven years. It's up to 90% now. It was 87. They want everything. And if you got hardy people out in the desert that have been there for 140 years, they want them gone. They want you in the cities drinking fluoride, eating GMO. This is off the charts evil. We'll be right back. Dang. Well, Alex, hey, can you hold to one Alex, as you mentioned, this is about rights, and it's very sad to see this happening to these people. I'm reminded of the old days in old England, you know, when the Robin Hood stories where the uh, sheriff and the king said that you couldn't go into the forest to get any food. That's essentially what they're trying to do. If they can run these people off of their land, shut down the family business they've had for 140 years, they can take your property as well. Whether you just have a suburban house, they've probably got a much stronger title than you do if you've been involved in some of these MERS situations. Uh, last comment here, Emin, where would you like to see this happen? Where, where do, uh, what would be a good way for this to be resolved? Well, it must be resolved by the state taking its sovereignty. The state leadership, the governor, and the county leadership, such as the county sheriff, have to step in here and say, no, this is not correct. This is not constitutional. This land is Nevada state land, and the laws of Nevada apply here. This is not the territory, the U.S. territory. Now, so far, the governor, Republican, Sandoval, has been standing on the sideline wringing his hands. Uh, but you do have some state reps that are going to show up this afternoon, you think? We do, and of course they're trying to influence the governor to, to, to get a backbone in this thing. Yeah. Um, he's made a couple comments, but he's, uh, he's going to have to answer these people, and, and, and I, I hope he does. We respect him, we need him, and we know that he can be a leader, and we want him to lead and, 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 and recognize his sovereignty here. Well, thank you very much, Ammon. Thank you for standing for our rights as well. I'm sorry this is happening to your family. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. And, and then later, do a high def interview with him. I want to ask him what, where his gut thinks he's going. You're going to be interviewing his daddy, I know. We're going to have uh, a guest on for an hour and a half, Steve Quayle, to cover the waterfront. And then Steve will probably still be on with us when you're interviewing uh, his dad uh, there live in the last 30 minutes today. But I want to bring that up to him because these confrontations continue and this keeps going on. I mean, that's a big deal, David. That 20 right, cowboys ro rode out there and got some of the stolen cows back. That's a big deal. Big defiance of the scum. Go the key ahead. is going to be whether people are going to stand together on this or whether they're going to let these people be taken down one at a time by a pack of federal wolves. Well, that's it. The wolves have already driven out the other 53 families. That's right. They're already, I mean, they're all over America like a cancer. They're shutting everything down. Every mine, every field, everything privately owned. They are slitting this country's throat ear to ear right now. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products. And get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. 
Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM.